Hello and welcome to my camouflage tent. And you can guess by now what we're looking after maybe. Because we are right in black brow season. Hello and welcome to my camouflage tent and a new video of course and you can guess by now what we're looking after maybe because we are right in black grouse season and I have to show you something. Now it's really hard to see because everything's so wide because of the snow but there's a lot of tracks in here and I have around an hour two hours until I have to be in the uh, hide and really be silent nearly until yeah until the morning really and I have to stay in the tent because the birds can come out in the evening and already play and fight but they can also yeah just be there in the morning but uh, don't want to risk it and let's get back to the hide I have to also blow up some stuff <laughs> the mattress of course and maybe uh, eat something, make food before everything, all of that happens. Cut myself today, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm really curious what's going to happen tomorrow. I brought the 200 to 500 and I bought, brought the uh, 70 to 200. And we're just going to see if I want to bring some of this background in or not. But first we kind of have to get the camp going in time and not get everything wet. batteries, memory cards. I'm, I'm prepared for everything, I hope. Quite successfully having everything out of my backpack and now making dinner. Uh, warming up water first, filling up my thermos again and then making dinner fast and then nearly brush my teeth already because yeah we have to speed up a bit to be in the tent and have an early night maybe listen to what the birds are up to. Now I'm in my sleeping bag I'm in the tent and the last thing I really do before I 
close the last window and basically go to bed is that I check how my siding is through the lower opening here. So I just get my uh, telescope lens ready and have a look. I'm really excited. This could, this could be really great if I'm lucky. <laughs> Now it's nearly four o'clock in the morning. I got ready with everything I have <laughs> to wait for the animals, hopefully. And it's really nice that my sleeping bag has two openings for my arms. So I have full control while I can stay in my sleeping bag. That's really nice. Now we just wait. It's around seven o'clock in the morning. The sun is up and the birds have stopped playing around an hour ago. They started maybe half past five. Played until around six. And then the other person that was here, and this is really disappointing, maybe 10, 15 minutes later after the birds left this area still playing in the trees left built down his tent walked twice to the car and that's not only really disappointing for me and ruins my morning it potentially risks this place here for the birds to play so, I'm missing any understanding, understanding for why someone would do that. I will sleep for a bit because I'm really tired. And then I think about what I want to do next if I stay another night. We hope this time that there won't be anyone that leaves early. Uh, we hope that the birds will stay a bit longer. It's now a week later. Uh, a lot of the snow is disappearing, but there's still snow on this marsh here. Uh, I had to change the spot though, because where I was the last time, it's getting a bit wet and I don't want to risk it. So I maybe miss out on backlighting, but at least I get side lighting. Uh, mm, tomorrow morning there is not direct sunlight anyway, but maybe the morning after. Uh, that's what we're aiming for. 
and yeah i just hope that the birds stay longer into the morning and we also try once more to do audio recordings outside of the tent for the atmosphere the last time it didn't really work out uh, the battery died after three hours which is fine but i think i did something wrong in the settings i just don't have any practice with this thing and so that's just because i never used it before this kind of project so we see how that's going to turn out tomorrow morning Hopefully we get the sound of the black grouse on this. This would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, beautiful weather. I'm not freezing at all this time. Um, starting to get a bit cold. Uh, gonna change soon, but I think I do the, yeah, the camp first. I'm amazed how small this hide becomes. I mean, two people could potentially sleep in here. It's a bit short for me as a German, maybe. <laughs> um, but this is made so that you can sleep in it. But when you do this and winter conditions, like late winter conditions, it suddenly becomes a really small hide. It's really messy from time to time. You can see now that the snow is way wetter than before, it's just melting, but the place where we look at and where the black rows are hopefully gonna be is still full with snow, which is really nice. Uh, we're aiming to be in the bed in the tent at eight o'clock again, and this time I'm so much faster, got the tent up so much faster. It was easier to attach it in the ground because this is not really made for winter use <laughs> and snow. So last time I really had to get the packs and dig them into the snow but yeah just look at it it's way wetter now yeah, you can see that here I brought some other pe tent packs uh, from my Fjallriven tent and yeah this is not so insanely safe but <laughs> don't know about you but being out here eating chocolate being warm in my sleeping bag it's as good as it can get I guess not much time until sunset so I will prepare for that soon Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, so sadly I'm packing again. There was not much happening after sunrise. A lot happening before sunrise, but it seems, and that's what a few people say that I met here, uh, that there is a sparrow hawk or a, a ghost hawk in the area that is basically coming along as there is light coming up and that the animals might be scared of that. So I will leave this place, I'm not going to do it another night um, and maybe spend some time on searching another place closer to where I live right now. And that's that's fine for me because then I know and in the end if I don't find anything in this season I come back here when it's really high season and try it once more at least. And if I found another place until then, then I check that one out. But uh, yeah, that's that's so much for today. I hope you enjoyed the cranes. That was really a nice surprise. And I hope you enjoyed uh, just in general another hunt for the black grouse. And sooner or later we get that photo in sunlight. <laughs> Bye.